Hey there, this is Stryker and the Hornet flying over the Falkland Islands. And today I want to talk to you about how I use the harm when doing suppression of enemy air defense or seed missions. Now most people uh, that I've been uh, seeing typically use this in uh, self-protect mode or SP or target of opportunity modes. But you're kind of missing out if you're not using this in free brief mode. Uh, Pre-brief mode lets you uh, reach out and strike your targets from a much greater distance. And I think it also kind of gives the harm missile a little bit of a better chance at hitting, uh, hitting its targets because it dives down at the target as opposed to flying straight in. Now, flying straight in, you can run into issues if uh, there's a, a building in between or something that's going to get in its way. It basically just flies in a straight trajectory. And again, it has a much more limited range. So I'm going to show you how I do this because uh, for the longest time, I, I really didn't understand how to use the pre-brief mode effectively. And I'm betting maybe you don't either. Uh, some of you guys might, but uh, let's, let's have a look and see what I'm doing to help me get uh, those targets that are who knows how far away, right? The harm shows them up on on your HUD as those square box as those green boxes. But how far away are they? Am I in range? In the past, I used to uh, hand off and just fire my missile, and they're like 80 miles away, and it just flops down onto the ground eventually. So anyway, that's it. Let's hop in and see what's going on. See you in a moment. All right, so here we are in the cockpit. I'm going to uh, set active pause so that I can uh, get a few things configured in the cockpit. I also want to uh, be able to show you um, some of the interesting stuff that really you need, you need to do in active pause. So I turn down the radar warning receiver so it doesn't constantly scream at me. Get an air to ground mode. Uh, bring up the FLIR. I like to have that on the right hand side when I'm doing this. And let's get the harm mode enabled. And I bring it up into target of opportunity mode first. And then select class and then HOS for hostile. This way it's only going to show you hostile returns from radars. Now let's go back to pre-brief mode. And I'll just leave it in aircraft pull up. And I'm going to hit the, uh, you need to hit the up front controller uh, button and then target. Now what I do is I have a uh, knee board that has all of the harm codes because you do need to know what code you're going to be entering. So today we've got a couple of uh, search radars and one tracking radar. The search radar is the uh, flat face and so we'll be uh, hitting that first and the target code for that is 122. So you know you got set right when you've got the target 122 showing in your harm page. I'm going to set my uh, waypoint one as my uh, heading or waypoint I'm heading to. It's in the general area of where the SAM site is. And I've also got a uh, tin shield search radar much further back. And I'm going to do that to kind of demonstrate how this stuff works. It works really well. All right, so you see we're in target of opportunity mode, and I like this because that means the harm uh, page is going to start showing what it sees. So the first one we've got is the search radar, denoted by S, and uh, so you want to have that highlighted. You can step through the different targets on your harm page. And then I do a sensor control switch up to make the HUD sensor of interest and then depress the TDC to, uh, in order to be able to move my cursor around. You get it inside that box. That box is where the harm says the emitter is. You want to get it as centered as you can. All right, so it's about 54.9 miles away. 
So we want to press uh, MK1 to set that as mark point one. Now let's have a look on the map. There's my aircraft. Bring up the ruler. I draw a line for myself down to that SAM site. Get it right in the center there. And that's 55.3 miles. So less than half a mile difference. I'd say that's pretty accurate. Remember, the harm is going to be diving down from high and looking for whatever emitter we're, we're telling it to look for. And that's within, you know, its search radius. It'll definitely find it. Okay, now what about that tint shield radar that's out there? So you cycle to the next target on the harm page. you got to set that as a sensor of interest. And here I'll do sensor control switch left. And then I'm going to step to the next target. There we go. TS for tint shield. Now I'm going to do sensor control switch up and I'm going to move that target designator so that's within the box that the harm has up there on the HUD. It's a little finicky, but uh, you can get it in there. That's about right. You want to get it as close to the center as you can. There we go, 81.8 miles. That's what the HUD's saying. All right, press MK2 for mark point two. Let's have a look at how it is on the map here. So it's 81.8 on the HUD. And here on the map, we have 82.18. Again, very, very close. Close enough that Harm will definitely be able to see that emitter. So again, the uh, steps are find it on the HUD get that uh, TDC designator inside the box and once you're satisfied press uh, MK1, MK2, whatever it is you need to set a mark point because that is going to be where you're going to be sending the harm off to. And once you've done that you set that uh, waypoint as active and then um, weapon des uh, waypoint designate that uh, so that you can uh, send the harm down range. All right, so we're getting close here. I think we're at good speed. Uh, let's get our uh, pull up going and get this harm downrange on target on that search radar. Weapon away. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to switch uh, over to the tin shield. Uh, and so I'm going to pull up mark point two and set that as my uh, waypoint I'm heading to and then waypoint designate. And then I need to enter its harm code onto the harm page. So the tin shield harm code is 130. So up for controller, target, one, three, zero. Enter. You can see it's there. We're all good. So again, let's keep on going. Get it lined up. And it's good to uh, kick in some afterburner when you're going to be launching your harms in pre-brief. Kind of give it some extra energy. And you'll know you're within range when the HUD, HUD symbology changes to indicate uh, you're, you're ready for pull-up. All right, there we go. We see the HUD symbology. We got to pull up so that the flight path indicator crosses through that horizontal line. Holding down the weapon release. There we go. The second arm is on its way. So the last emitter I'm going to hit is the tracking radar at that SAM site. 
and that's back on mark point one. So I'll change my waypoint back to mark point one. Oh, look at that. Got that flat face radar. That was really, really accurate. You saw, I didn't know the range. I just used what I had on the HUD, got the, set the mark point, and the harm found it. And that flat face is dead. So I'm going to use uh, harm pull up mode to take out the tracking radar on this SA-6. And that's pretty easy. Instead of pulling up to the horizontal line, you just have to have that flight path indicator in between the two chevrons, the inward facing chevrons. You press and hold the weapon release and once you're there, it'll fly on its way. There we go. Okay, these uh, next two are going to impact pretty close together. It's going to hit the search radar, and then it's going to hit the uh, tracking radar. So we'll have uh, two strikes back to back. See if we can get the flare down on that SAM site. Watch a little bit of the action. Actually, I think it hits the uh, tracking radar first. Yeah, that's the tracking radar. Boom, look at that. Pretty much spot on. And here's Tint Shield. Right next to it. Didn't completely damage it, but it's out of commission. Or didn't completely destroy it. But that's done. So look at that. Three harms, three hits, and I didn't have to set this stuff up sitting on the carrier uh, or, you know, before takeoff, or I didn't have to know what it was based on the F-10 map view. You can use the harm sensor to find these guys and then set a mark point and then send the harm on its way. All right, so I loaded up with uh, an IR Maverick as well as two rock eye canisters uh, just to kind of show what I like to do to finish off the SAM site. Now the uh, Maverick I'll use if I if the harm missed or didn't take out the uh, intended targets. But I got them, so I'm going to take out one of these launchers with it. Of course, this is dependent upon the server you're on and how far the, the target is and everything. Um, you know, typical loadouts will vary. I did need a fuel tank so I could strap a couple of uh, rock eyes on uh, the belly. Let's see how this goes. Looking good. All right, pull. Now those SAM launchers can't do anything because they don't have their tracking radar. One thing you could do is you could always come back if you're on a server and revisit this site after you rearm and take out the rest of the launchers and other gear that's there. There's that launcher. Shack. He's dead. All right, let's roll in with some rock eyes. I'm going to drop one on each pass, see what I can take out. Lots of good targets down there. This is from the ground. There you go. Weapon release. Good effect. 
right, we'll come in with the uh, second canister. Lining up. Weapon release. It was pretty good. So there you have it. Arms doing their work and uh, doing some cleanup afterwards. Right, so it's all good uh, here on a uh, mission I set up manually, but how does this stuff work out in the real world? Do I have the same kind of accuracy when I'm on a server? So uh, I recorded a couple missions I did on uh, Flashpoint Levant, and uh, let's see how they went. So this mission, I, uh, I have to go take out, I think it was an SA-2 site. So same idea. I have the... Uh, harm in uh, target of opportunity mode, moving the TDC cursor so I get it squared on that uh, indicator from the harm, set a mark point, alright, go to uh, pre-brief mode, I already have the harm code set in there. I believe it's one two two. Flat phase search radar. I usually like to take out the search radar first, and then follow up with a uh, harm on the tracking radar. When you hit the search radar, it kind of wakes up that tracking radar if it's all not already up. Build up some speed. Get some uh, altitude here as well. All right, afterburner, and let's get that pull-up going. Nice and smooth. There we go, Magnum. Roll off, and then uh, get set up for the second harm. Pull up my little kneeboard page with the harm codes. Up front controller, target, key it in. All right, we're good. Get lined up once again. We're nice and far, so I'm going to be still using the aircraft pull-up mode. Get lined up. Get some speed, and start the, uh, the pull back, pull up to get to the horizontal line. Idea, roll off, and let's uh, let's see how things go. I do have some tolds. Typically, if I'm getting closer, I'll throw those out. But uh, if I have them, I'll just toss them out there and see if they help out in any way. They're going to lag far behind the uh, harms, though. There, you can see, you can even see the SAM site again. This was this was not. Um, done by a wait, the, the waypoint they give me the general area and when I do the mark point I can see I can see pretty close and, and the nice thing is you can even use use that to find where that sand site is and make sure you got a clear shot on it And if you need to make a return visit, you have the coordinates. After, if you land, make it back. Oh, there we go. We got that flat face. Didn't take it completely out of commission. There's the second harm coming in on the tracking radar. Look at that. Right on it. All right. So, as you saw back here in the Falklands, getting ready to land at an airport nearby. So as you saw, I was able to use the harm, uh, you know, harm page that 
displays a box on the HUD to get the uh, location and distance to a stand site, to the radar. And then I was able to successfully get that entered in and employ the harm against it using uh, pre-brief mode. Doing this all while in flight and it's super easy. And again, if you're on a server where you need to destroy the, everything that's there, you have that mark point stored so you can actually go back Alcatraz. with JDAMs Alcatraz. or other weapons and uh, finish off the job. It's, uh, it's pretty good. And that last uh, hit I did, I took out the tracking radar, so that whole site is pretty much good to go. Go in there and take care of everything else. All right, while I get lined up here, let's, uh, let's go off to another mission I did uh, also on Flashpoint 11. So here's a mission once again, getting uh, the harm view lined up. Get that distance, set a mark point. All right, so here I am. This is where the mark point was. You I'm using, I'm getting a little bit closer, and you can see there is a sand site right at the edge of that village. So I have a clear shot. I'm going to actually do this in target of opportunity mode. Uh, I could very well use the uh, pre-brief mode as well, but um, I thought I'd give it a shot with, with the target of opportunity. Now I'm going to take out that uh, search radar, and then again, I can always come back and, and finish off the job. Now this was a uh, kind of an ad hoc mission. I had already flown against uh, an SA-6 site. Someone took out the uh, tracking radar, so I killed the search radar. I had one harm left over, so I decided to go and take out one of these uh, search radars that were nearby. Yeah, I'm getting a good lined up. I uh, handed off the missile and fired, and now I'm just pulling off. We'll see how this does. There it comes. There's that little village. There's the harm. And you see the trajectory is much flatter here, right? So, that was pretty close. Didn't take it completely out of commission, but it was good enough. So back out in the Falklands, I'm going to uh, land on this runway here, get the aircraft trimmed up, lined up, and I'll do an overhead break. So in that, uh, that last uh, mission I jo showed you on the uh, Flashpoint 11 server, nice thing about it, uh, about being able to, to get the uh, location of the, uh, the search radars and various SAM sites using the harm is that it gets you uh, within, it's not usually you know, right spot on, you might be if you're lucky, but it's close enough and then you can use your FLIR to search around and find it and kind of get the lay of the land and see what's there. Uh, so even if you're, if you have at least one harm and a bunch of other miss, you know, let's say you had uh, JDAMs or Mavericks or something, you could uh, use it to find the the site you're looking for because you know it's somewhere out there. You just don't know exactly where, and then start setting mark points on the different emplacements and vehicles so that you kind of have a uh, you can step through uh, each of them and uh, very quickly get your weapons locked on them. Now typically when I, uh, depending on the servers, uh, I have some standard loadouts I like to bring. Um, if it's Flashpoint 11 where you're uh, weapon restricted, uh, I can only bring two harms and the rest pretty much have to be dumb, dumb weapons, unguided weapons. Uh, but I'll usually bring um, a rack of three uh, tactical air launch drone uh, decoys and um, on the other station usually two sidewinders um, I've been caught 
couple times with my pants down with uh, just the two sidewinders on, on my uh, wings and then a uh, sparrow on the fuselage and um, so uh, if I, depending on the air, air threat I'll that's what I'll bring along. Otherwise I might bring some rockets or a couple of bombs or something to drop uh, after I neutralize the primary uh, radars. Alright, getting lined up here. Down. Not too bad. So one thing I should mention also um, about using this method is uh, issues that can crop up when you're um, when the when the target is far away, like let's say at 80 miles away. Um, if you switch from the HUD uh, designator to the FLIR. Uh, the distance indicated drops down, and this is a limitation of the game engine in the player. So that's all she wrote, folks. Hopefully this was helpful. If you have any questions, uh, always feel free to ask. Uh, drop something in the uh, comments. I'm always watching and I'm happy to help out. I did this uh, video because it answered questions that I had. I had no clue about uh, solutions to. So, once again, thanks for watching and I uh, look forward to seeing you in the skies in DCS.